Hey guys, what's going on? This is Cool Toys, and what I have here on my table tonight is the Mobile Command Center. And also I have Sergeant Slaughter and Duke out front. So I'm going to do maybe a, a little tutorial walk around of this vehicle. We got uh, Sergeant Slaughter and Duke. Uh, the Mobile Command Center is a really massive vehicle. It's a roller, 12-inch roller, and it's taller than a roller. So I'm probably going to open it up, show you all the different uh, levels of this vehicle, um, the cockpit where the driver is, and some of the functions it has. This thing is huge. I like it. It's um, just like the Jawa playset. It reminds me of like Star Wars, that like sand crawler thing, uh, but for G.I. Joe and, you know, urban tactical warfare. You know, it's kind of a little impractical. It wouldn't even fit on a, a street, really. Maybe it can, you know crawl across like uh, a flat terrain um if the jungle was like leveled or you know a, um, a desert that was a little rockier and not so sandy but other than that it's uh it's pretty cool you know i think of it as um if the pit uh opened up and this thing would like crawl up from underground and then this would be like a, another base so you know if the main base was being attacked by cobra then this thing could uh roll out and uh you know flank cobra from behind and uh you know hit them uh with some heart artillery and uh open up and let all the joes loose for battle so uh let me pause the video or open her up and uh we'll take a look so this is the uh, lowest level the main door where vehicles would go and troops could enter. Um, this is, you know, with it closed and which is really strange when they sold this toy. These openings were just like it is now from opening it and taking it out of the package out of the box. I don't know why they didn't have like doors that could swing open and cover this out cover this up or you know they just wanted maybe kids to pretend you know they can go up these stairs and then you can have access to it but i mean you can do the same thing if you had a door there so that's like one little gripe about this um i'm gonna try and leave the uh, camera where it is and uh open it up so hang on Sergeant Slaughter took a dive. Um, hang on one second. All right, we got uh, law and order over here protecting the on-ramp for vehicle maintenance. I have uh, this construction vehicle in here, and we have Tunnel Rat. He's uh, putting fuel in it, and uh, we have the crane up top, which you can move around and load things, unload things. Um, you can actually, like, remove an engine off of one of the all strikers in the back of it and uh you have some stairs over here that go up to the uh, second level and i'm going to take my camera off the tripod here and uh, we're going to swing around and look at it all right here's a little close up i like the uh, tracks on the mobile command center look real realistic but uh, it's a shame they don't rotate and turn around there's just these small plastic wheels underneath it um here's the uh, front driving cockpit area uh, you can see three action figures in there, three Joes. It's just a little plastic window that covers them up. So I got these two guys in there. Over here, here's the, uh, the crane I was telling you all about. We got Tunnel Rat. He's got the fuel line, getting ready to put some diesel in this vehicle. He had the stairs that go up. I have shipwreck here standing on this level. And then when you get into the second level here, it, this whole thing is just like a uh, fishing tool, uh, like a tackle box, a fishing tackle box. It just opens up like that. That's what it's like noticed as. They're trying to escape. Crockmaster trying to escape. And we have Falcon, of course, not paying attention while he's on duty, just like in the movie. And uh, you have a little rack there. For the guards to uh, switch out and take a nap. Um, we have these guys over here. Talking about the next mission on your uh, computer database. That's showing up where Cobra's at. You know, Sergeant Slaughter and Duke just having a little chat. And the third level. Um, I don't have the rockets. I have them. Well, I have the rockets, but they're just stowed away somewhere. They just go underneath here. And it has like a ground-to-air missiles that would shoot up from here. 
and I have the super soldier on the uh, top level right near the uh, helicopter pad that's on the far right when you're facing the vehicle and on the other side uh, it's just like another little ramp and on the back of this they came with this like little cheesy elevator it really like falls apart it's more like a stand that you would use to help keep this thing standing straight up but uh, a really awesome playset uh, vehicle for G.I. Joe. You can open it up and uh, set it up like this, like a diorama, and uh, have little scenarios going on. Like I have with Croc Master back there trying to escape. And, uh, you know, you can have them, you know, get caught or even get out. And then the Joes have to go uh, go after them and track them down. You know, Law and Order will send the dogs on them. Y'all let me know uh, what you think, if you have this in your collection, uh, if you've always wanted one. I bought this uh, when it was back in Toys R Us, so uh, glad to have it, I'm happy to have it. Y'all take it easy, comment, like, subscribe, later.